one of the most important topic asked in chemistry is what is allotropes so allotropes is basically a different forms of same element with different structural arrangement of atom so here what do we need to remember allo means different okay so here you will see different form of same elements so element should be same same element but in the same element they are different structural arrangement they are different because they have different structural arrangement so because of the structural arrangement of the atom right a structural uh, different structure of atoms they are completely different form so they will have the different properties now what i mean by different uh, same element with different structure of the atom very important that for example the carbon carbon can be in different forms if the carbon is arranged in this form that one carbon is surrounded by four carbon atom it will call diamond okay and now the same carbon if they are combined with the just three carbon element and they are arranged in the layers layer of carbon atom it will come to a fight and now if the six uh, c16 so this is called fullerene which is basically they are total 60 carbon which are combined together so they are completely different based on how the atoms are arranged so as you can see here the both are all three are the same element carbon element right all have the carbon element but they are completely completely different how because of the arrangement of atom because of the arrangement of atom they are completely different and different properties f they have for example the diamond is the toughest uh, material till now in our earth so let's see the competitive properties what the difference between diamond and the graph graphite so very important what we have learned how the molecular structure in the 3d if you look about the 3d view of the graphite and the diamond it has three dimensional network it means what the carbon and carbon how they are combined they are all surrounded by four carbon atom which is tetrahedral structure three dimensional view now what about the graphite graphite has two dimensional layer now if you look about the previous picture in this picture the graphite this there's a strong bond between the uh, within the layer so if you talk about this layer this is strong very strong covalent bond and you cannot break this bond very easily so what bond is weak in the graphite the bond between the two layers so suppose this is the layer one this is the layer two so this weak is uh, this bond is weak and that's why it can slip it can slide and you can write on the paper now the hardness it is very tough it is so tough that you can use this uh, diamond to uh, as a knife you can cut any other material it is so hard now look about the graphite which you have we have in the pencil right the graphite and this is your diamond okay please make a note of it because it is very important topic it's slow soft and slippery now what about melting and boiling point it is very very high in both of them because just i told you the force of attraction between the uh, the carbon carbon atom in these two form is very hard now solubility obviously they are the covalent molecule they are not going to break in either of them neither in the water neither on the nor in the organic solvent what about electrical conductivity this diamond okay again this is very important point which makes this uh, structure very different the diamond is insulator why because if you look the diamond the none of the electron is free you know the carbon has four bond right four covalent bonding two and uh, four so this carbon is share all the four electron with the neighboring four carbon atom so none of the electron is free that's why they are insulator now what about the graphite in the graphite if you look this structure they are the three Elect uh, carbon is bonded but what about the other carbon other electron so the one electron what we have it can move around the uh, layers so the carbon has a four covalency but only three is involved as you can see here suppose this carbon if you focus on this carbon it is surrounded by one two and three so what happened to one car uh, one electron that electron is still mobile and it can move with within the layers that's why graphite is a good conductor of electricity 
I hope this is clear. If you like this video, share it with your friends. And finally, thanks for watching.